Yeah, we all know this guy. We all know this guy. Yeah, we all know this guy. In birth. Really clear. Gotta get the hashtags in there. Alright, so I'm gonna drop this in the normal spot. Uh, put this here. I will put this here. Yeah, the tournament's been kind of crazy. Like in in some respects, it's it went as you would expect. I mean, obviously, Silent is in, you know, Winter Semis Finals. So it's yeah, like Soma. And, yeah. And you know, I I think that that's pretty expected at this point. <laughs> um, in some respects, I mean, Luna drowning. I I thought that Luna had a chance to lose to Salty. Um, and you that's know what I, happened. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I Hang talked on. about okay. it before. Yeah, I, I talked about it because I, I did a curse stream or whatever. It's up on YouTube if you want to peep it. Um, I was like, Luna is not particularly good against Akatsuki. <laughs> and it showed that he wasn't particularly good against Akatsuki. Because uh, Salty really got to establish uh, not anything he wanted to. But he he like kind of closed the distance in in spots where I think Ori has to be a little bit more proactive in what he's doing, you know. Um, and then you know Ori just he finds it so hard to escape, bro. Like I think the only two you know win win salty. You're in the chat, bro. You got to be focusing, man. This is your top eight, <laughs> man. You you're not supposed to be in here. You're supposed to, <laughs> you're supposed to be out there, bro. Don't don't come in here. But uh, yeah, he 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 wasn't really contesting at the spots that I think he needs to to have success against Akatsuki. And I felt that when I played him, you know, in the past, I feel that now, you know, even watching him. So it's like, you know, it's what it is. Uh, in any case. Let me finish my plugs here. Uh, pop it in the Sugoi Factory channel if people feel like watching that there. Uh, yeah, I think that's everywhere. Uh, aside from that, let's see. Oh, Luna lost to Mr. Noodles, who is a walled from, uh, from Texas, I think. So somewhere in the Southwest, maybe Arizona. Um... He beat Swirly Glasses too. He almost got out, bro. Oh wow! Yeah, he All lost a right. uh, he lost a Papa Pesto. Uh, pa Papa Pesto ended up beating Havard, which is outside of my expectations. I thought Havard was going to win there. Um, and then Papa Pesto beat uh, Papa Pesto. I think also beat Swirly as well. Yeah, because Salty played Papa Pesto to get out in winners. Um, aside from that, I mean, I could pull up the bracket. Let me go to the overlay. I got, I got Twitter open, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Texas Showdown. So, yeah. So, Burr ended up losing to Tino. I know Burr was, like, kind of, he was drinking a little bit. And he, he was telling me, like, I don't, I don't know if I can kind of do it today. I was like, all right, you know, just do your best. Um, he lost to Tino 2-1, and then Tino lost to Gray 2-1. Um, so Gray is, is the one that's going to fight Masoma in Winter Semis. That's the first set I think we're going to see today. Oh, that'll be really interesting. I, uh, like, I've only really been able to play Gray, uh, in Susnet play, but, um, yeah. well, a Sus connection. But they seemed pretty, pretty on top of things. I'll share my screen in our Discord too, just so you don't have to look through the relay of our chat. Oh uh, yeah, thank you. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it through just like this. So yeah, um, I thought Tino had plenty of opportunities to beat Gray because like I think Gray also doesn't really understand how to fight Akatsuki, and like that matchup is already a little bit difficult. Tino basically like tried to air to air Nanase a bunch of times without using Perry as protection, and you know, 
Uh, but uh, Hath, who I had played with in the past, he used to be up here in Northwest Ohio. Um, he had like beaten me in a set before Carmine. Uh, he ended up beating Mel or Mel DQ'd, I guess. Um, then he beat Bryce 2 0, he beat Atlas Omega 2 0, and then he beat Tino 2 0. So he got into top eight. So, you know, Texas with a strong showing. Let's look at H1 here. Yeah, so Havard lost to Luna 2 0. I thought Havard had a good shot against Luna also. Um, I have no idea what happened over the course of that set, though, unfortunately. Um, Mr. Noodles beat Swirly, like I mentioned, beat Funkyard, Nika, uh, and then beat Luna 2-1. Like, those matchups, Nika's probably fine, but, like, those matchups fucking suck. They're among her wor his worst matchups, like, Wald. <laughs> this is Hilda and Ori. Those are bad matchups. Yeah. Uh, but he, uh, it looked more <laughs> like the stage got to him. No disrespect to Pesto. Pesto just did what he was supposed to. He put some projectiles out and was like, yo, you don't... Yeah, sorry, so who does who does Pesto play? Carmine. Oh, you got two okay. Carms in top eight. Wow. Carmine Wow. Yeah, <laughs> Carmine... Bro, look at how many low tiers we got in here. Quote, unquote. <laughs> this, I, I joked uh, in the Discord, you know, we got a low tier weekend. We got Landrakia, who's considered to be weak in Japan. We got Wald, you know, Joe was smoking everybody. He had a really good set with Rick. Uh, if you happen to, to catch it, it's on Jay Wong's channel. He was restreaming the Vancouver stuff. Um, he had two good sets with, with Rick, but he won from winter side. You know, Golden Child Yuno beat jo uh, Yaka uh, Vatista last night, too. So, Wald, Lond, and Akatsuki winning tournaments? This weekend, Let's go. <laughs> got the low tier revolution. And if Silent wins, you know, Phonon was considered to be a weak character at the start of the version. We might just have a bunch of low tiers coming through. <laughs> yeah, Joe is definitely too strong. But yeah, we, we've we had a pretty crazy weekend. I'm not going to lie to you. Alright, I got I to gotta find some lo-fi to listen to so I, I don't get smoked. But yeah, Texas Showdown, this will be on Tampa Never Sleeps. I think most of y'all are probably in there already. But uh, it, it's going to be real, real interesting. We can kind of just have this on in the background until gameplay starts. I might just throw on Sage's playlist. That's probably what I end up doing. Get the uh, House of 3K vibes going on. <laughs> But, you know, since we have a lull, maybe you can share some of your thoughts about the tournament yesterday that you, you know, oh, yeah. squared so, away. Um, so, I came away from it being like, man, I'm so happy that I'm dual maining right now. Because yeah. uh, I, feel, I feel like even, uh, like, I actually don't feel like I'm switching off because of character matchup almost ever. Hmm. But it's the the two game plans are so different uh, that I feel like I can really like I don't have to uh, if there are situations that I'm trying and they don't seem to be working out I don't have to uh, adapt on one character I can adapt between two characters and like in in the case of like Defy it was uh, and I, I actually posted a little bit of our conversation that we had last night in Vat Chat because someone had asked. Yep. Um, I felt like with Defy, it was like uh, they were kind of like right in the middle of where I'm comfortable with somebody playing the Batista matchup, which is like very passive. And, and that means that I can usually run a lot of stuff and like show off offense a lot. So I'm like probably most comfortable there. But if not, then the other side of it is like, well, they're just hasty enough that they're just going to get clipped by a lot of zoning stuff. And I'll just capitalize on that. Defy was like kind of right somewhere, somewhere in the middle, you know? Um, and so I was like, I'm feeling like I would probably just be more comfortable straight up, uh, like counter zoning and rush down. And Londreki was that. So like that, that was my reasoning with Defy. Um, also like our connection was a little rough, so I just felt like I was easier to do Londreki stuff. Um, yeah. but I did not expect to be switching off with Big Black because, um, 
when I beat Big Black at the um, the fundraiser exhibition, I stayed on Vat the whole time, and I just played it like very, very like how how the matchup is like quote unquote supposed to go. You know, I just did a lot of keep away, and was just like belligerent. Like we had a lot of timeouts. The uh, the game that he got, it was like that that was the timeout that he won. You know, yeah. <laughs> so like. Um, so I fully expected to do that, uh, just exactly the same thing again. Um, and then from like uh, game one, round one, I was immediately like, oh, he's ready for this. Yeah. He, yeah. he started out with a huge call out uh, on the up back and it worked out. I actually, there have been a lot of people, who, uh, a lot of Yakio players who have tried that and it still doesn't work out for them. This actually includes clear lamp, by the way, at Combo Breakers. Um, 2019. He, yeah, he, he tried that, and it just, like, uh, I think that I happened to clear it um, <laughs> with the hitbox of B-Ball. I just got lucky, but I didn't get lucky in this case because the Black just immediately committed to the follow-up, and I think it caught my landing. Yep. So stuff like that, I was like, all right, I'm just starting on the wrong foot here. Yep. Um, and I've got all, potentially a lot of games uh, to go because I'm in winner's side. So I'm just going to switch off and, uh, you know, it out there and immediately i was like oh, okay i'm i feel like more comfortable uh doing this instead um yeah like, i um Big Black, i i expect him to be overly passive in the batista matchup like if i could be critical at all of of his really patient methodical play it's that he is is very unwilling to make those sorts of call outs usually so when i saw that i was like oh okay <laughs> no i i think that that's really fair because um your switch to me seemed like an initiative thing like okay kind of lost initiative like i could play this out but like you would have to adjust to his adjustment and that's a little yeah. bit especially in an online environment it's like no nah. yeah Let's like, like online forget... plus a biakia like yeah mm -hmm. For forget going to layer three uh let's just like go to layer one on a, a different character that i'm just as comfortable with you know so. yeah your your comment about big black is something that i've noticed when i've been able to take advantage of him in the matchup it's like and, and i think Deffy Deffy plays him so close every time because he knows what to expect it's like yeah. the the big comeback he actually made uh i think to stay alive in losers finals was like it was either that or to to go into to winners finals he like was down a whole round and a half made those two call outs on the trm and then cracked him with the uh the shadow scare mix up i was like okay so he he absolutely knows what sort of level like what sort of layer that he's on but to yeah. to go back and belabor my point there it's like against big black when i know he's just kind of like passively chilling there you can really just kind of walk to certain spots because it's like, all right, he knows that the proxemics of like you coming here to, to risk some offense is where he can flip the switch on you, you know, because it's Bianca, you get hit, you get put in the corner and it's web time. So yeah. it's like, all right, I'm a Kotsky. I don't want that at any cost. I'm not really going to like shoot a bunch of fireballs to give you grid. I'm going to slow my pressure down enough that like, you're not sure what's going to happen. And you're, I think he's more willing to take throws. It's like, all right, I'll give up a cycle. I'll blah, blah, blah. It's fine because I'm Biakia. I hit you and, and the cycle doesn't matter anymore, right? So I'm like, okay. You'll wait. I'll wait. We'll take this down to 15 <laughs> seconds. I got CS. I got yeah. some meter behind me. I have all the initiative. As long as I don't do something stupid, you know, to, to willingly give you an opportunity to get back in the game, like, we can both chill here together. And I, I have success <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> with that there, I think. Yeah, you, you definitely, you will have to chill with him because if you if you move your offense too fast, um, he's really good at taking advantage of that. He's uh, so good at that. Yeah. So, and, and also, like, like you were just saying, like, you can you can keep him out for so long, but the nature of uni is uh, you're kind of forced to engage with him if you want to have a chance at gaining initiative. So like, unless you're Batista or Yuzu, like if I'm, I'm playing Lond and 
is more than uh, ground start distance away, unless I'm making a call out on movement, I have to expect that the fireballs are getting shielded, you know, because he knows the matchup. Yep. So, yeah. Um, knowing that I could take space as Londrekia against Byakia and, like, uh, force him to try and uh, stop my approach or make some kind of call out, I think was like the big difference for me. Um, uh, that, I mean, this wasn't like recent, but like a couple months ago, that was like the, the clarity moment I had of like, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> like I can, I can do a little bit of throwing fireballs, but basically I have to take the space that he lets me, you know. So looks like we're. Into this broadcast here, we got Raf and Lucy on the mic. I'm not too familiar with Lucy, but obviously we know Raf. Raf has been around the, the scene for a little bit. What's up, Aurel, man? Nice to see you. I am so excited for this, although I think the the first set probably is not going to have a whole lot of fanfare. I'll uh, flash over to the bracket if I still have it up. I don't. Uh, I'll pull it. So... This first set should be Masoma versus Grey Faden. So, you know, we had talked a little bit about Grey before. It, it's hard for me to categorize him because I haven't played him that frequently. But I felt like if, if it's like in the realm of not to say tricks, Grey more or less has everything. I think he had a tendency to like want to go for double overheads and things like that and like for me as an akatsuki player like i want you to do that like <laughs> you jumped it at me like over my head and i have a, you can't cross up my dp she can like move to avoid it but it's like all right well i'll parry this i'll i'll like dp this i don't care that much but uh I know um, you had mentioned that your connection with him was maybe a little bit suspect. Did you actually play him at Climax of Night? Um, if I did, I feel bad. But if I did, I don't remember. Um, Be like that sometimes, you know? But, but so, mentioning Climax, so one thing that comes to mind is like, uh, both of us actually really expected Big Black to go uh, pretty far at Climax, and uh, the one that took him out was two gig right two gig, yep. am, I, am i remembering that right i think so, he sent him to losers and it was either untold or lotus who put him out okay all right but yeah um i mean two gig is is super strong uh i think a little bit regardless of character anyways but yeah. like uh but i wonder like i wonder you know? yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, not to say the Akia very, very differently, very differently from Big Black. So like, yeah. I'm, I'm expecting Masoma to play like way more actively than I would expect uh, BB to play in the same situation. I wouldn't be surprised actually if if Masa goes Seth here. I don't know how much he's been playing Seth recently, oh. but I think that changes up the dynamic. Sorry, Mario. Let me get oh, to I that. Um, I would bet silent myself on that set. Uh, so I can't take you on that. I actually like Silent. I'm going to be rooting, obviously, for uh, Salty here. Well, it's hard, because, like, Silent's my boy. And Akatsuki is... Or Akatsuki. Salty is Akatsuki brethren. But uh, I think Silent has the, the favorite here. There are, are tricks that I haven't really been able to discuss too much with the other Akatsuki's on for anti-Silent stuff. Because I'm still kind of, like, coming into it my own. So, uh, I think Silent's favorite. Sorry, please continue though, Fox. Yeah, so I, you said Seth, and the very first missile image that I got was a parrying uh, fireball approach. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is so annoying to deal with. Like, I would actually, like, I actually, even with that, I still think that that Seth is a little bit that favored. Mm. But that dynamic in the matchup is so so annoying because that's how you're quote unquote supposed to play a lot of her matchups like the yep. fundamentals approach is you get an a ball out and you play around that and you follow behind it mm -hmm. same with nana say to a degree you know you get that uh tk 236 b out and you do stuff with that but if you're steph and you can just uh 
get a full combo from somebody standing next to their projectile that's supposed to be keeping them safe, like... Damn. This is probably a button check. There's no way that I yeah. think Gray decides to play Altman here. Uh, I think there's a difference, though, with Seth versus Nanase. It's like, it's not like, uh, it's not like Batista doesn't have a long low hitting attack. But I think Nanase is more known for checking your, your like, movement with normals in tandem to the projectile. You know, because, like, once once it's down, it's basically out. Like, Nanase is actionable. So I think maybe parrying... I was thinking about parry versus, like, ICA uh, fireball. But we won't even have to worry about this. We're going to go straight into it. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah. So, fade back, I think... Yeah. <laughs> fade back yeah. is the round start. <laughs> There's nothing yep. Byakia can do about that. Okay. Oh, he bit. He just needed to shield. I don't yeah, think... But he knows but it wasn't it wasn't a really bad bite until there you know yeah like if you if you get a counter hit by by Force 5c functions. at that range like unless he has um cs and meter it kind of doesn't matter yeah this was unfortunate for him because he tried to uh j8c nice shield uh to stop masoma air to air but masoma actually went first okay yeah, yeah he uses that that's a, a guaranteed right? punish no he was late yeah, yeah I'm a big fan of uh, up back shield OS. So, Gray looks like he's shown off force function OS? I saw the little, the wind start to come out from the bottom two times in those throw tech situations. I, ugh, I, I, if I'm, if we're going to extend out from that round, I think this is going to be a, a kind of fat two to zero. I think if Gray was just willing to be patient and wait on some shield opportunities, Masoma would kind of be in trouble there. Fade back. Oh. He's fine. He just can't give up anything. Yeah, that's good. He tried to go air to air. Masoma really loves that B follow up. It's yeah. notoriously <laughs> hard to anti air, though, of course. It's uh, and he's really good at it. Some, something that I feel like he does with it that. Not a lot of well, not a lot of Byakuya's are using all of his air actions, anyways. Um, but uh, but he knows how to delay it in such a way that you can't reliably anti-air it. It's the same as like the Seth dynamic, actually, where yeah. uh, Seth has so many timings that he can come down on. You can't reasonably cover them all. Mm -hmm. I think it's the same with Wald too. Those sorts of characters that change their air trajectory, actually. I, I had this experiment or experiment experience when I played Mario. Mario used Wagner's J2C like that too. Just kind of like a really late, like, I'm gonna change my trajectory. Gray bit a normal into the delayed 3C from Masoma. Did you see that? This guy is crazy. He's <laughs> he's mashing. <laughs> and uh, not also, like I, I I liked how you were like in the very first round. Feedback fireball. Uh, yeah, none of the, nothing you can really do about that. And Masoma was just immediately round two. I'm gonna round start six to see. Like, yeah, but that doesn't clear air unblockable. That doesn't clear that, especially since she can force function cancel her fireballs. Like literally, Biakia can't do anything about that. But this is a good round from from Gray. Yeah, Cookie uh, so highlighted up back shield was really good. Uh, we talked through it, but he had a punish. Yeah, you can't air to air like that. Uh, J8C has head and ball, so like you you can't fuck with it. Uh, but he had shield on uh, shield falling JA, which got him out of the jam in the first game. This is looking pretty decisive for Gray though. Ooh, I like that adjustment. Okay, that's pretty tricky going for an empty jump situation into CF. Yeah. Yep. This is fine though. Finally, you you finally absolutely yeah. take that. <laughs> you can even kind of retreat here, especially at this point if you're not a say. He's used so many lows, yeah, so we saw it coming down. I think I Masoma. Oh my god. Oh <gasps> no, he threw! Yeah. So he did J2C. <laughs> uh Masoma was killing himself trying to challenge Nanase up there. He can't just do that. He's not a character that that is able to do that. 
Why do you do anything? Everyone, you have everyone, to cycle. Everyone wants to be Ohito. I want to be Ohito too. You know? <laughs> but he had to meet you there. Like, ah. Uh, actually, oh. Gray's still out here. Via all bait. Damn. Damn. Gray may lose this game because he decided to mash when he needed to wait. But we'll see. It's another strong start. Biakia, again. You know, I like. Ooh, what a oh, delay! Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I really was, like Gray's decision to use Fade Back Fireball. The thing that was really interesting that I wish he would do more is like Fade Back Fireball, walk up, delay Fade Back Fireball. Because, like, again, what is Biakia gonna do? <gasps> Yo, destroyed the anti air with the C <laughs> dive. That was kind of sick. He's going to build enough, enough bar. Here? Yeah, it's over. Double perfect. Oh. That was sick. I see, I see you, Gray. Yeah, good stuff. I thought this this was gonna be a, a 2 0 straight, but nope. But yeah, fade back fireball, I think, is hell for Masoma to deal with. Until he decided to just go up and, and jump normal. <laughs> so, so willing to call out. I think that's something that you have to do against some of these characters, too. Miss 3C, almost certainly. Yeah. Um. I, I like yelled at Findo about this when he was having some difficulties with Orie playing yeah, his prime yeah. mine. I'm like, characters jump normals are actually pretty fucking good in this game. You can go up there and the counter hit is just like Melty. So you have full reign to finish a combo. Yeah, 3C. Oh yeah, absolutely. These These players are very familiar with each other. Both with the same local. Although, Masoma, I don't think, is able to come out too frequently. But they play oh, in no. silence, uh, silence like weekly online oh, meetups. So yeah. So this is rough, but it's fine. You just can't get hit here. You can almost take a throw because the cycle, he's not going to build that much meter off of the throw. Cleared the web. Nice! Oh, he didn't have the pickup. Yep, go ahead and retreat. I like that mix-up, but nothing came of it. You can sword card the other way is what I thought, but Masoma had the answer. Nope. Yep, strip. This is guess for game. You can't wait too much because he will throw it behind you. Oh Please God. just... There we go. I'm like, please just 214 see him. All right. So now, if you're gray, you have to make something happen here. Air to air. What is Masoma doing? Don't go up there. Bro, you have a life lead. Strip. Yeah. VO strip. Back up. Oh, he tried to go straight into the fucking dive? Gray, you're crazy. Uh, this was the was first, that, was that the like, first set. Was that, like that cross-up dive? No, that was B dive. That's overhead. All right. I was trying to figure out if, if there were... There was a side swap that was intentional or something like that. So hey, I have to say, I, I fully expected Masoma to wake up with something there. Yeah. So the thing with that is, after the VO strip, if you immediately backdash, you should keep corner. Um, I, I see the commentators, like, you know, putting the little inch sign. But, like, Delay Tech murders that, that cheeky reset. Like, I don't know. Oh, you thought it was supposed to be Fade Back B Fireball? That makes sense, Mario. Okay, misinput. That makes sense. That makes sense. And there's Lord Salty. This is. So the playlist that I have is the House of 3K. So that's like uh, the New York Smash group to Kill Sage was a part of. They have this playlist that they have just a bunch of video game music in. And uh, this is like a 30 minute portion of that. So yeah, this this is Shadow the Hedgehog. I'm not going to lie to you about this. Yeah, he tried to keep corner, but he didn't want corner. Or he didn't land in the corner. In any case, we got Silent with the Sade shirt. One of the greatest ladies in history. Amazing musician. Salty with his classic Dragon Ball uh, hoodie. 
This is going to be rough unless Salty has an answer for 6FF. 6FF is the difference, I think, in this one. I trust Salty on defense against jump ins for the most part. Um, it's not like Phonon really has... I mean, she has the, the corner, like, post Asin setup where, like, you know, she does fade back and she can either do jump C or, you know, JC, which is the low, or, excuse me, 2C, which is the low. But that's more like a reaction test, I think, than a true mix-up. So as far as... So it, when Phonon puts you in the corner and is looping 6FF into her fireball as a copy, can you just press that FF button with abandon and just be right? No, because uh, it does the punch follow-up. It's treated just like a Yuzu Slash. If it didn't, oh. then we would not give a shit about it. But uh, because the punch follow-up comes out nice early throw, uh, that actually makes it weaker against Phone on there. You can shield a Fireball, but usually she's safe from there. Really, the, the true answer caught the TR. Uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> really, the true answer is you have to jump. But if he has CS or if he has meter, it's like you're jumping right into Ascend. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Catching Rampo salty on the whip. Grandpa with the whip. That's what he told me. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this sucks because now Fona or now Silent can 6FF. You can't jump that because he will cancel it on whiff. Now you can. You still have plenty of time if you're salty though. So you can jump the the 4C or the 4B was meant to stop a jump. This is still hilariously enough enough time, but uh Salty I think gave up his CS basically for nothing, and that's gonna be the first round. Yeah. Yeah, we got park, park pickers. See, I don't, I don't like that salty does that, ever. There's almost no, no like situation where if you're farther than a dash distance, that I think it's good to just do super fireball unless you're covering yourself. Good shield, parry. That's actually a mid, so you can parry that either way. The standing parry gives you a slightly better combo. Oh, he missed oh. the. He missed it. it. Yeah. TRM back into the corner. He's catching Salty's OS's a lot and the uh, last all. Yeah, absolutely. I love this combo. This particular route from Phonon I thought was really, really cool. And Silent yeah. has all of those. So again, whiff setup. Nice. Fuzzy dash block. No, come on, Salty. He's still fine until then. He thought a VO was coming. That's a classic salty VO spot. Nope, not doing anything. Silent, very disciplined. Spin your meter. He was trying to micro dash 5A. Nice. Good clear. There it is. So, this is a really good situation, actually. Silent can't really afford to reset with fireball pressure until he gets to about 100. Fireballs are really, really dangerous, so he's going to wait. Now, I was going to I was going to ask what is the situation when yes. uh when salty salty were to force function those uh up back dk fireballs. Would that really be like something that you want or is it still bad, a bad situation? Uh it's neutral in most cases, but oh, okay. can be <gasps> Yes. It's nice. neutral in most cases, but uh, it can be pretty good. So Salty gets one more mix if he wants it. Yep. I actually really like that. And the shielded JC didn't matter. I thought that throw was too early. Good block. Good tech. Got him again. Game over. Nice. I see J6C. Crazy. And Salty's defense, I think the dash blocks were quite good. I'm a little surprised that Silent has not chosen to go to 6FF at all. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what he's fearing, but maybe the dash block will catch something. Okay, good throw. Maybe he's a little worried about bleeding grid as well. Yeah. Salty correctly changing his OS timing. Yeah. And then not over committing. 
5C on incoming. Oh, no. We're swinging it. Man. He wanted the strip. He didn't wait for it to come low enough. Okay. Tried to get the Kara. Yep. This is still not a particularly good situation for Phonon until just now. Reset. Still fine. He even blocked that, but he didn't pick up the throw. Yeah. It's very hard unless it's you hard, know yeah, to react to it. It's really hard it. to do it uh, unless you kind of train that reaction. Yep. Caught him that time. That was a late 5C, I think. This kind of sucks, but his pressure is nice and tight. Yeah. So 6FF there is the key. He had CS and he had meter. There's not too much for, you know, Salty to be doing here. Stagger pressure. TG with you, I appreciate that. I don't know if you're being serious or if you're being sarcastic, but I uh, I think that that this concept is cool, and it's basically a uh, extension of what undernight players already do at events. I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to give Silent some crap after this. Yeah. So we we have uh, you know, there's been this uh kind of running joke that all of the Texas players will green shield, they'll whiff green shield, and then they'll, they'll still press a button on their defense, right? Yeah! Yep. And and this hasn't happened so far, but instead what has been happening is Silent has been just uh, whiffing like a standing oh. pur purple shield and, and pressing a button, and it's worked every single time. <laughs> yeah. That was really scary. Salty missed his delay 6C after 5B, but uh, he could have settled for a 6C too. Silent didn't have any meter to protect himself with. Oh, what's up, Gosu? Nice to see you here as well. Hey, Gosu. I can't see chat, but... Yeah. You might want to pull up chat on your phone, maybe, though. Oh, yeah. Alright, good early throw. Yeah. I hate green shielding that fireball. It feels really bad. Yeah. Yeah, that was JJ's thing, right? Like, every time you green shield, he'd get you for it. Yep. Yep, so this is where force function comes into play, but he's trying to mix in some green shield whiffs with this. It seems like, uh, yeah, okay. It seems like Silent is really unwilling to 6FF into another 6FF. It seems like he's trying to enforce with 4B a lot because he just expects Salty to jump. Yeah. I mean... I think it's an open secret that Salty loves ICJ6C, so it's like, oh, yeah. rather than committing to 6FF against me, nice 5A anti-air, he slightly missed the delay there. Um, you know, I'm more willing to approach on the ground where, you know, again, just like that counter hit confirm, ah, Salty, no! That was like 3,500 right there, but uh, he's going to strip him. It doesn't matter, DP. Oh, then he went for the reset. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of damage. This is like close to 5. Close to 5k with the... No, it's going to break 5k. Close 5.5. Guess for game. Yo, it's, yo, Got him. Mechanic. There it is. Damn. Damn. Salty shouldn't hang his head for that. I think Silent made the adjustment in the later games, mixing in 6FF to kind of fuck with his timing. Yeah, oh. I do think, it, at the very least, if nothing else, between uh, games 1 and 2, I feel like both, both players made some pretty good adjustments, but particularly uh, Salty adjusted his defense. Yeah. So, props to that. Salty's defensive adjustments were good. Really, like... And I often feel like this is the case. I felt like that when I played Rurik at Frosty Faustings. Like, he had missed that 5B punish, which would have comboed back into the corner. He missed uh, the extension on the 5A anti-air. That was a lot of momentum catching silent jumping. Those little things, like, really hurt Akatsuki because he absolutely needs you to die. Like, he, yeah, he needs... You he needs those knockdowns to run his stuff. You, you've talked to me about this before, that like, you know, a character, a character like uh, Bad or even Phonon, um, you know, if they, if they drop a route, uh, it may not be the end for them. 
Um, you know, they might just get some damage elsewhere or what have you, but with if a Kotsky drops a combo, it feels so bad. <laughs> yeah. Like there goes your momentum. You you have to hit those. Yeah. It's just hard. Yep. So that's... my hat is off to y'all. Yeah. That's why I practice like I know my streams are like really boring. So like not a whole lot of people stick around unless they want to see me talk about the same stuff. A lot of it is really like me just drilling the same situations, the situations that like I've noticed I've gotten some drops on or crucial things like Dash Tatsu has to go into C Fireball, has to go into XYZ, and I have to know without thinking, do I want the knockdown here? Do I want the air throw knockdown? Do I want damage extension? Do I want etc.? Like you have to drill those things, I think. But uh, enough about Akatsuki. We're going to see Salty further in the bracket. We got Papa Pesto, who I think is... He's my surprise of the tournament, but from talking to the Texas uh, crew, it doesn't seem like he should be that surprising. Uh, he's been working really hard. I know he asked me for games. He's constantly grinding with the Texas group. Um, Papa Pesto versus... You know, Jeremy, that boy, Chia. Uh, I know, or my active understanding in ST was that Carmine beat Gordo. And yeah. this is basically from uh, Findo. But I don't know. This is new age now. I, the Gords yeah, have gotten actually, so good. I, have, I haven't really seen this matchup that much. Yeah. Here. So we got ourselves another ba uh, button check. And then we do have half. We have half versus Aura Dude, which is going to be really interesting. I have like my own uh, insight of half because like half is a OG multi player, one of the best players in North America for current code, uh, the best CCL in North America very easily, probably in the Americas period. Um, his defense is really good, but let me not talk about him. We can get more into that in the next set. Uh, Jeremy has clean routes, clean conversions, sometimes gets a little unlucky like he did in Winners Against Silent. Yep, 6B. Okay. Wow, that was, that was early. <laughs> that, yeah, real <laughs> early that like... on that. Tried to assault there. Interesting. 2C with the bomb behind it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's one thing that I, I do want to mention. Carmine's routes got so interesting in this version. Yeah, I do really like his routing in clear, especially those, um, the, uh, routes into command grab are really cool. That bomb is still there. Oh, it does Nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, there is some meter here, but he tried to move, got 2-2 two, two aid. He should be dead for this. <gasps> Is what I would have said, but it doesn't oh. matter. He's going to lose this round. Uchiha, no. Uh, he could have just used CSA. I say something about... Uh, I noticed with Egg Eggplant and Uchiha, both seem like they have, like, very... They focus on sustainable offense mm -hmm. more so than just raw gases at all times, and I feel like it's really to a big benefit. You know? Yeah. Like, I like, their pressure is generally consistent and sustainable and clean like mm -hmm. i think that's worth emulating yeah i think star has kind of made uh he's been moving to make that sort of adjustment too i think all of the gourds kind of are actually oh that bomb placement was dangerous and uchiha eats 6c that's like the third one both yeah. of the other ones were mid-screen but papa pestle's like yo I don't want you to move. I don't want you. I just want to keep my momentum going. Jeremy, I think, sometimes gets in trouble for being too passive in certain spots, but in this case, like, Gord is is such a <laughs> Gord oh is such God, a character. Really? You know, three three V <laughs> on dash up. Hello. Reset into throw. I do like that Carmines are willing to do that. They'll like fake. Like they're gonna put the wheel on you and then just throw you off of that. Yeah. It's kind of like not a say yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, now you've got a mid screen confirm. Let's go. Yep. I see the uh, the Japanese Carmine players will will throw up B wheel and do run up assault, and that's that's really tricky. Yeah. Good block. Looks 
like the I, I couldn't tell if the fuzzy might have been just a little bit early. I wasn't sure if it was overhead or mid actually there. This situation sucks so bad and he got that it. That one's time. overhead. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. That boy Chiha really has not gotten to start at all. Whiff punished on the 5C. He has no resources either. Tried to bust out. I like uh, Papa Pesto's normal placement. And he's catching him for trying to shield. He's really just in Uchiha's head, I think. Yep. And the green shields are keeping him from 100 meter. Now he finally has it for the first time. Nope. Game over. More than likely. Yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, Gordon has a well, lot of health. No, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Yep. I so uh, Eggy uh, two one four beat me in a post CS situation in the exhibition, and I think uh, I think it's Gord mind. I think if you're a Gordo player, there's just some part of you that wants the endorphin rush of a two one four B connecting. You know. Yeah. It's, there's something when you pick Gordo, something happens at character select, and you're just you're hardwired that way. The interesting thing is like, I don't think Papa Pesto went for outside of the fuzzy situation. He didn't go for any sort of like delay assault or anything like that. If anything, the the call out that he's done, and I know um, what's the Canadian the Canadian Carmine player Falcon Man. Falcon yeah. Man does delay 5A instead. In those situations where it might be kind of hairy, it's like where you think a delay assault can come, it's like micro dash 5A or delay 5A instead. But uh, yeah, I mean, that, that was just convincing. I don't know, really know what to say. I think we can make special highlight to um, Green Shield Punishes from Papa Pesto there. Because like, Uchiha was starving for meter in game two. He he had access to a hundred when he like BSM'd and died. But we have Aura Dude, aka Mori Dude, I guess. Mori uh <laughs> Calliope or whatever. Uh against Half. This matchup. I'm I feel like I feel like Mika probably wins this one, but I think Karm's uh, 6B not going away when it clashes with things that erase projectiles, like the puddle portion, um, yeah. is such a huge boon. It like completely changes the dynamic of Akatsuki versus Carmine. And I'd have to yeah. imagine it. it's similar uh, with Mika as well. Uh, Masoma is not playing Seth. He's played Byakia, to my understanding, throughout this tournament. My guess is, rather than trying to maintain the Seth car in this case, Gosu, he's been focusing on uh, Vlav. I know he's been playing a lot of Blaze Blue recently. Uh, I believe he's also in the Persona tournament. So, like, I I think he hasn't done the maintenance on the Seth car, so he's abandoned it for right now. Uh, My boy? I don't know about that. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck to him, nonetheless. Yeah, so we, we got more button checks. Uh, it hasn't... It's been a while since I've played against Ordu, and I feel like I might be confusing him for the other Mika who plays online. There's, like, one of them that plays a very, like, I'm going to 2A, 5A you all the time. Like, I'm just going to stay up on you. And then there's like the crazy fucking uh, cool and sweet Libikichi, like here's this pseudo set play in the corner type Mika. I forget what kind Aura Dude is. So uh, I'm interested to, to watch this. This is like a cold read for me. I got to play Aura Dude a little bit at Climax and uh, I definitely got that sense of like, uh, this is, uh, I'm gonna chill quite a bit uh footsies mika you know mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm gonna walk away mika at least that that was my impression playing the long matchup yeah but you can't really do that with karma so yeah i do like uh half tends to like to do up back j6b to start rather than pure 6b he almost tries to do it to cover 
immediately went to search for an OS, but nothing there. Yep, good clut. He almost got that pickup. I really, so <laughs> one of the things that's going to be an interesting interplay is Half is a multiplayer. He's very used to fighting you air to air with different moves and whatnot. We saw uh, the wheel. He moved to protect himself, even as Aura was doing Mika Chen, like, cannon, yeah, throw. VL gets baited. Mika, Mika normals are way too good at baiting VL if she doesn't commit to 5C. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, Isaac. Aura dude now has to read bait. <laughs> so this is a strong start from Aura dude. Carmine is going to have to fight his way out of there. Yep. This is actually pretty similar to the strategy that I used to beat Hath. Is like, I just frame data Carmine to death. His uh, his normals are so bad that like, you you just kind of chip at him with minus one until he cracks. And Aura Dude uh, showed that off fantastically so far. Wow. Yep. Oh, oh, we in there. Yeah, that's that's tough, huh? Mm hmm Ooh. Yep, late. I would like to see Hath maybe run up throw. Tried to scare him with the delay force function. Nice. Good pick. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, he ran right in there. Oh, that's a nice pickup. That that's such a weird thing to have to OG, OTG with. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I think there's a there's a large part of my brain that just believes that it should be possible to pick up with two C, but that's never the button you want. He threw on that timing. <laughs> Good block by Aura Dude. So we still have a puddle here, but he got caught, and Aura Dude on set point already. Hath honestly hasn't been fighting too bad, but it seems like his regular offense where Mika's not getting clipped by something, uh, he's he's really struggling to do something to Aura here. And gets counter hit with far five or with five C. Yeah, that was a uh, a back six B attempt, it looks like. Yeah. That's actually one of the things that I I like talked to Duke and I talked to Sonic Spear, nice, good BO, uh, about is Mika has so many advancing normals that just kind of knock you out of shit that like nice no oh yeah. well. okay but yeah she has so many advancing normals that you should be using them this might be it actually yeah he's dead no he's not dead wow uh oh back though in the corner overhead this no ah. that was the round right there <laughs> vo okay <gasps> no fucking way <laughs> i can't believe it he threw it before it came that was ballsy wow holy shit yeah half half dropped like all of his combos i forgot what i was even saying before kind of wish that it could be dive kick function but it's definitely not i feel like it's kind of a, it's like a soft uh response you know it's like a i don't want to commit to anything so here's this at least but i don't feel like you're gonna get a lot off of it in most situations so i don't know I've, when i when i've played carmine and i've used jump 6b i haven't been particularly impressed with it i like I'm sure it's good for some things but I think yeah. in those, in those situations where like you kind of want a dive kick, I don't feel like it's quite a dive kick. You know? Yeah, I've noticed it the most like where it's annoying in those situations where like Biakia does like J two C. So it's like it's oh, like so a stand. Like... It's like a throw punish. I feel like yeah. more. It's either throw punish or it's like. I want to control this space a little shallowly, like shallowly on your dash up. Those are like the kind of situations that I feel like it's very useful in. We I saw it a the, little bit early, but one of, you know. One of the classics is like run up jump 60, right? Like mid screen wheel and you're like pushing, you're running into them past the wheel and you 
throw bait with uh, jump 60. Yeah. And it's, it's going to be plus on shield anyway, so. Yep. It's, uh, I actually find it to have a relatively similar use case to, like, uh, Orie J2C, like, in those okay, same spots. Yeah. Um, except that, you know, when Orie gets shielded, <laughs> she just gets fucking murdered. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like the the walled thing. Like her her and walled instant jump two C, feels like it has similar cases, but obviously walled is like a little better too. Walled J two C is so walled fast. Walled jump two C is yeah, it's hilarious. It's, it's so a really fucking fast. Funny move. Anyway, I'm gonna take this opportunity to shill for like a half second. If you enjoy what you're hearing, feel free to give Fox of or I a follow. If you like it a lot feel free to drop a sub or a twitch prime in any case we're gonna go straight into it this is really interesting i don't often get to watch this matchup play out so i don't really know too much about it Ooh, reset uh, oh okay oh nice back in the corner with you uh luna drowned he lost to mr noodles who was a walled and salty and winners so he entered but he just died nice dash out nice. fantastic answer Okay, yep. Set it up. One, two. Nice throw. Set it up one more time. Went low that time. Okay. I would like to see a... D okay. Overhead instead. This should kill her, I think. If he decides to spin everything. Yep. Yep. That's could I could say? Um, I'm released into... Uh, increase 6b in those throw tech situations is really hard it's hard to see even if you're looking for it but yeah. when you add like throw in the mix it's it's really tricky yep i think uh i remember uh in the match that red blade played with notes at evo that situation came up a couple of times what a pickup on trade hard nice. to deal with mm -hmm. yeah good answer carmine or Papa Pesto wasn't ready to CS cancel in time, so he just got jump scared. Deep dash. Oh, <laughs> he was standing, so it was Let's still plus. Go. That's a really good answer, I think. Okay. And just somewhere smiling. I feel it. CS. Mm. Oh, he didn't die, though. He X Carmine. He just has to survive and get out. Yep. What was it? Wish who told me that. Um... Oh, he fell on it. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, that uh, Nanase ADP into her EX Fireball is not plus. And I was like, really? I don't uh, know. It didn't feel, it doesn't ever feel plus when I deal with it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a shame Nats couldn't go. Very good delay tech, but he still gets overheaded. I don't think this is going to kill because Karm has a lot of base health. Tried to fuzzy him, I think, uh, but got clipped. So, gray up one. Yeah, Karm, you know, for a character that loses so much health, like, he, we talk about, like, functional health, but even when you hit him, he's, I think, a part of the third highest group. It's like him, Akka, uh, Gordo, I want to say. It's, like, really annoying to kill him sometimes. For me, you know, and and I'm a Kotsky, no, I like to kill people. I I want to I want to support my Carmine players, but something something that I firmly believe that they probably don't want to don't want to hear is oh. that uh, like his effective health is really low. Yes, but also if he gets things running in the corner, your effective health becomes really extremely low. low. Yeah. Because you are either you are either going to a huge meter deficit to shield everything and like get a laughably large amount of grid, mm -hmm. uh, or you are taking the chip oh. and your effective life pool also goes down quite a bit, and it's just like <laughs> one of us is gonna die soon, you know? Yeah. Oh, it was airborne. He needed to choose something else. Yeah, I, I think that that's a pretty astute observation, honestly. Good block. Yeah, I like that. Just waiting on it. Yep. I think Carmine also could afford to... Especially with, like, CS or something. 
route to sh to kind of like look for more throws that was a good block to give himself a slightly more oh okay there we go i thought he was going to ex no air unblockable but there's still something on the ground good throw oh he just ate it game two to papa pesto but yeah I, I think routing with command throw and normal throw you know making that mental calculus that health calculus a little bit more complex will give carmine more to work with too it's uh right. what i've seen with the uh with a couple of the carmines that are still active nice anti-air and then like wheel throw obviously has been a part of the equation recently oh that was cheap one two so we can push out of the corner if we want i almost am willing to just delay tech or not delay tech but back <gasps> oh oh yeah. let's go that is ass anti-fuzzy okay you still don't get to do anything guard, good guard thrust though that's actually a trick that not a whole lot of people use you can use the rest of your ts gauge to guard thrust and you're only going to lose the the ts gauge fill air unblockable that's just a, a small caveat with uh, Guard Thrust, if you care about that. Guard Thrust is still pretty broken, FYI. Good tech. Oh, but the oh, shielding wow. got him yeah, out of that it. Yeah, that was a lot of shielding. <gasps> he almost got oh. him. That was so close. Papa Pesto in control right now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, hey. I love those... Uh... Oh no, that's quite bad right now. You have to survive, but that trade confirmed. Nice. Oh, this combo is sick. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it protects himself and he gets the cycle. Nope. Yes. No, shielding doesn't do anything. He should have just 3B'd. Got him. Oh my God. Let's go Papa Pesto. Hey, yo. Yep. Set it up. One, two. He's going to get the cycle. He just has to wait. He... Oh my god, he threw it away! Let's Great it, what a block! <laughs> Papa Pesto, you are sick. That was so good. Some of those it, confirms were nasty. Very, very good confirm. Routing. Carmine is sick, man. I like this character in this version. So we are going to have him move on. Let me go to a bracket shot here. So Papa Pesto versus the winner of Salty Ora Dude. Now, this is actually a matchup that I really, really want to see. Uh, do you want to see Papa Pesto versus Salty? No, no, no. This matchup right here, Salty Aura. Oh, oh. Uh, Aura's decision to kind of like walk back and play passively, I think is the way that you're supposed to play against Akatsuki. Like, I, I kind of talked to him a little bit too. Um, because he was having a whole lot of issues with fireballs. And I'm like okay you know you do have 5bb but like if you're outside of the range of dash tatsu i think people sometimes don't quite appreciate what just neutral jumping a fireball will do the shitty thing about it too is like mika not only can just neutral jump a fireball or like fall with j6c or icjc or something like that she can also just j236b the the downwards mika cannon that's just like plus two or something so if I'm not committing to a move to hit you out of it, if I'm scouting with the fireball, like you just get to jump that and start your turn. Unless I am on top of it with a 6C following a fireball, but like that's so unsafe if you don't do anything that, you know. All sure, that, Gosu. And I was actually, I did some, some testing on Mika dealing with fireballs and I was shocked at just how well she can delete them with 5 pb like i kind of thought that that was like halfway a meme or like kind of a little more niche mm -hmm. like a like a bigger call out or something like that but like with uh batista doing triple ball loops she is totally matching tempo with that yeah she is just like nope it's gone it's gone it's gone again it's gone. <laughs> you know the funny thing is uh c tatsu actually punishes that scenario oh does it yeah Levi Kichi talked about it, and I know Salty has labbed that as well. Uh, the other thing is, like, Mika's walk speed and her dash speed are so fucking fast 
So she can dash block the gaps to make Fireball 6 6 c less plus. So she gained a six frame low in 2B. She can micro dash, she has slide if you are deciding to wait. And if you're trying to come in behind fireballs without really doing 6 6 c she can challenge you with a relatively equally oppressive 5B by itself. So she yeah, has I mean, more than what, enough what tools else, to box uh, with her. What else would you expect from a Japanese top tier? Like this, uh, this top tier here, she's got everything. <laughs> <laughs> she still uh, has some difficulty dealing with fireballs. There we go. Yeah, so this scenario, she can't quite jump those. Those are a little too close. Counter hit confirm. Salty could have gone for something higher damage if he wanted. Whiff throw is plus, as we all know in the Undernight community. Air throw knockdown? Nope. Yeah, this scenario, especially with the uh, the intermediate 5As that Salty is doing. Oh, he tried to 5B a check, but got Tatsu'd. Uh, is that part, like, this offensive sequence is absolutely difficult for her to deal with. I have the Money Tang in here? Oh my god. What's up, Stanley? A, leg a living legend. Nice shield, but he was still too far to press 2B. Nice. Drop kick blocked. That was a kind of insidious trap there. Bought him to steal the cycle last second. Same, Stanley. I'm in the same boat, man. Good blocks. Or dude has to be careful. Yeah, Salty was trying to use the threat of Tatsu IW, but didn't actually do anything. Okay. CS throw? Yeah. I think that was one of the first uh, wake up dash blocks I've seen from Salty, and I feel like like it didn't work out for him that time, but I feel like that was a really good place to do it. Yeah. Like when you have Portful. Ooh. Yeah, caught him. That'll be it. Cheat day, cheat day. Alright. Kind of one of the things I like to do, because like Aura Dude is using walk back quite a bit. Yeah, you gotta stick the lows in there. Squish is like a secret god at using Akatsuki's 2C. I like played him in the mirror at Frosty Faust things, and I was getting fucking cooked by 2C. I think you can catch certain characters. I know you've gotten slipped by a couple 2Cs in our time too. Mm -hmm. That button's a little better than you think. Oh, that was a very dangerous one. Yeah, we're gonna press fireball. I don't like him using that meter like that. It didn't do anything for him. And now he has no resources for defense. All right. Delay tech throw, CS. CS for nothing. If I'm salty, I'm, I'd kind of just Tatsu him here. Oh, but he got the dash under 5A, 2B. Salty's patience is quite good. He picked a fantastic kind of area to Tatsu and that got Aura Dude to freeze, I think. Dash 2B, trying to check something. Interesting choice from Salty there. All right, delay DP, no. Oh, nice challenge. Salty, you got the counter hit confirmed. Don't air throw, you can kill it. <laughs> ah. Dash block got okay. checked, there it is. Yeah, I was gonna say now there, there have been, been two like pretty good wake up dash blocks. I don't know about that one. Yeah. That was, that's to Salty's credit, that is the first uh, wake up dash block I've seen this tournament. For good like, shield! Yeah, I'm not sure. That was a very good shield on that setup. So I know Salty doesn't like it. I tried to get the punish on that. The reason why I do like the side switch into like the low uh, BCA B Tatsu is because you can't forward tech it. That's a little bit extra damage. Oh, I can't no. believe he didn't punish that. That's a little bit of extra damage that I feel like Salty is actually leaving on the table. But it's also because he's choosing to use 2B in that combo. If he didn't do that, uh, it wouldn't affect the scaling as much. Good, good. Or dude actually had a combo that I kind of want to revisit. That was pretty sick. Nice throw. Yeah, the threat of uh, 360 with Veil off. J 
Just chilling. Got him. Wow. That's cheap. He's not going to build the bar to kill him. Akatsuki's a chunky boy here. Or attack? No. Decides to wait. Tried to tick him off of that. No! Salty! That's like minus seven, bro. Come on! <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Dash throw. The shield on 3B is so bad. Yeah. It's very, very, very minus. Salty a little bit too patient for his own good. Yeah, going back to character select, gonna collect his thoughts a little bit. More players should do this, by the way. This is a secret tip. This is what I uh, wanted to yell at Fox at Frosty Faustings about. Yeah. Go back to character select. Yeah, for sure. Mm hmm okay i'll tell you a combo breaker too in case it happens <laughs> now that you're going we get to see you there Yay. you know if if you get scrambled by psychotic you know jumping at you with wall i'm gonna be like yo go back to character select bro wait is psychotic gonna be there yeah he's gonna be there hell yeah oh my god i didn't know that yeah <laughs> okay i'm hyped nice throw <laughs> good block on the drop kick oh that whiffs There's family in the chat like oh look uh an overhead did not call up that's what. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Uh oh. Or a dude getting very comfortable right now. Salty actually didn't really show too much offensively or defensively for Aura to bite on. So it's like kind of games like this that are really. Uh oh my god. Never mind. Counter hit confirmed. Please don't air throw. God damn it, Salty. <laughs> god damn it, that's 4K. Oh, come on, baby. Yeah, he's just gonna wait. Good shield, but it didn't matter. Still plus. No, it's not nerves, Axel. He tends to like the knockdown a little better. Air throws knockdown is more DP. Air throws knockdown is more advantageous than uh, J two one four C, but you want the damage differential. My Mika is like an average health character. Okay. Oh, caught the dash block. Vo coming soon. No, doesn't even have the chance. Or a dude. Man. Or, or dude like almost doesn't believe it. He's like, oh, I did that. <laughs> or dude knew the line he was skating at almost any given time there. Because at, at any point, Akatsuki can just be like, haha, funny kicks, and it will fuck your entire game up. Um, Salty, you might pop in here. I'm going to finish my thoughts here. You could have uh, afforded. Or a one. Yeah, or a one. Uh, you could afford to make a couple more uh, opportunities happen on offense. Defensively, I, I don't really have too much to say to you. You didn't really put yourself out there. Uh, you got caught out on some forward movement, but that that's just natural. You play Akatsuki, you have to dash block at people. Uh, yeah. So, we have Silent Masoma. I think that this is going to be the grand finals of the tournament. I think it's a safe assumption. Uh, I think I picked Masoma to win this one, but to lose set one of Grand Finals. That was like my prediction, if I recall correctly. We'll see though. Silent Sick. Yeah, Killy, I know you feel it because you you are a damage connoisseur, both with uh, Lina and Akatsuki. He left so much damage on the table with counter hit confirms. Uh, and that's something I'm going to preach what sorry I cut you off Fox that's something I'm going to preach to everyone in here if you get a counter hit confirm you better make them fucking hurt bro you get extra untech you get extra damage don't settle for some whack ass fucking combo if you have a counter hit confirm don't play like a Japanese player in that case you know actually playing a, playing a character that doesn't have a what like nine, 900 minimum damage uh X move I'm thinking fat C drill mm -hmm. made me appreciate counter hits so much more and now now when I do play Batista and I get a nice juicy starter I'm like okay who cares who cares I can get like well I can get past 4k with this let's just do it you know mm -hmm. yeah like what, what I was gonna say was uh nothing nothing that important 
just uh, if Silent whiffs shield and presses a button again and it still works, I'm no longer going to be making fun of him. It's an advanced strategy that I've got to implement. I want to see if it happens again. <laughs> I mean, I, I think about this. We've kind of joked about it before. You know how um, how Isaac will just like hold shield and then DP? Oh regardless God, of if you works. yeah if <laughs> even if you don't touch the shield or not he's just gonna do it yeah i feel yeah. like it's an extended strategy from that you know uh we play a game where we uh we rebeat you know we whiff normals in order to continue pressure i feel like come on shield is just the next logical extension of this right yep yes <laughs> isaac in the chat he 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 started seth versus I really? hate these guys. No, this is the button check. Is, no, wait. No, 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 it's not. He's going to get hit by that. Oh my god, Silent, I hate you. <laughs> these guys. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, it's the player matchup, so whatever. Yeah, 2C. Sorry, bro. You got uh, neighbors on both sides there. Yeah, took the orb hit. Command throw. I don't, I like Silent Scored, I'm not going to lie to you, but like, I don't know why you pick him here. I I feel like maybe Phone On players hate Phone On Seth, good fuzzy jump. I, I just don't know what Gordo really gives you well, that Phone On doesn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, I remember Trill saying that he thought that like the Chaos matchup would get that much worse against Gordo because of uh, like better confirms off the of beat reaper and that sort of thing so i don't know i i mean i i do guess uh gordo does police the air rather well um but I, yeah i still i'm still uh not sure what these pick this pick is going on about like with, from both of these players i feel like i feel like they must have like shaken hands on this like hey yeah. Do a funny thing? yeah let's do a funny thing real quick i think so too because like this is nice shield this is masoma's arguably first like bracket game with him playing seth here uh just meeting him silent's gonna die with all that meter actually no he's not seth isn't gonna build the bar bro Ooh, yes yes there fuzzy 5a please reaper him just just do it you're sitting on the silent Reef Grim Reef Okay. <laughs> Game one okay. to Masoma. <laughs> please Please switch off of Gordo. <laughs> Masoma was just like I'm just gonna throw a button out. Uh, please get counter hit by it like four times. Yeah. Trade? Nope, no pickup. Yeah, a lot of minus seven rebeats into button presses. I mean, I, I guess against Gord, it's like fine. Maybe? I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, get these guys out of here. <laughs> I'm so mad. Good throw. There we go. 2v. Two, two 2v uh, into drop. Silent, please go back to phone on. God damn it. Oh, man. The Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper. Another one. <laughs> Overhead. Okay, counter hit. Uh, uh, uh. I'll pick it up. Comes to the Kai. Slide on in. Nice. Air. You know, Masoma is like basically always doing something, but I feel yeah. like his Seth is so exemplary <laughs> of him just doing shit. He, he loves doing anything. Yep. And it's not even like Seth really has like the normals to be doing it defensively, but he still does it. Oh, 6-6-C. Six, six, oh my God, he backdashed with an orb out. Good shield late. So Silent, could have made something happen, but he got mashed out. So, uh, Masoma yeah, okay. has mashed on a lot of things. 
So you know how I was saying earlier how I felt like I kind of admired uh, Eggplant. Egg, Eggy and Uchiha both taking the approach to Gord of like really trying to focus on like really good clean offense and not just forcing the guessies quite so often. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was a good example of like you really didn't need to go for that. You had CS, you could have late B Reapered yeah. into winning that round, but like. He wanted the cookie jar. He was like, yo, it's yeah. time. Also, that first interaction of Bonon, I think, dash up 2C, getting obliterated by 5A was uh kind of fucked up okay yeah so what are you gonna do silent you're just going to get jumped on yeah i think masoma absolutely not playing biakia unless he's forced to uh in the finals here oh that sucks counter hit assault b air to air so that's going to remove assault scaling for the most part he's gonna die is this maple music i feel like it is no this is nakaruru's theme okay okay counter hit oh no there we go so this is like the first real substantial hit that Silent's gotten. He's gotten a lot of meter. This is really like touch two of the three touch for this round. Oh no! Okay, got him. Silent yeah. getting these green shields and then going for DRM. Yep. Killing me. <laughs> I, I get it. Oh no. Yeah, they're not main games that both of them cook you. Uh, I guess there's also um, UMAD. People might be trying to go to that in Montreal. That was already announced for June. I think second weekend of June. Oh. Uh, okay, nice backdash. So now Silent's on the board. He shouldn't have to strip. Just doing the normal combo was going to get him the cycle. He was cycle simping, I think, a little bit too much. Oh, July, yeah. July for you, Matt. Sorry. Caught him jumping. Okay, so Silent is cooking. You strip here, absolutely. Yep. Okay. You have Veal off, so you have at least two different turns. Now you have one turn with meter. Got him. Nice. The taste on. The taste on. He really made him suck on these. So 2-1, Silent on the board here. Tried to 5A in the middle of that, but he didn't actually shield the second hit. He shielded the first one, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, too far. Pushed him out the corner. Uh, this is like light knowledge, but I was considering running an event in uh, July as well. BT dubs. I told Fox up about this, but... Uh, if you're in the Midwest, you you might want to come through. Nice, but that didn't punish. Five eight. Three C. I guess it was kind of a kind of a deeper assault there. Yeah. Uh, gray fade in one versus Pesto. Nice, good finish from Silent. Or yeah, Pesto. Sorry, my bad. Pesto one. Oh, that. Bone on two A is so fucking long. I can't stand it. He's getting these green shields to whiff. Yeah, no TRM that time, and then just gets thrown. Okay. Oh no. A, A, A. What's up, Eggplant? Nice to see you. Hope you are recovering from your, your illness. Ailment. Illness. Oh, got assaulted. Okay. Is he going to put some meter on this? I feel like Gosuda definitely would for hard knockdown. Stanley might. I haven't been able to watch Stang enough to know what his meter habits are. Alright, so phone on escaped. You have a bit of time. Oh! That was... Okay, this is still enough time. 
you're not gonna get the lead on this one but reset into that oh my god oh he caught it with the taste on player it's one side <laughs> two two silent about to fight back as long as this doesn't drop ascend there we go <laughs> I can't believe it. Silent is actually making it through this set with the taste on. <laughs> yep. Taste on setup. He did say uh, because of his uh, top eight run in KOF, he was going to change his name to either Taste on KOF or Taste on FGC. So, Masoma's sticking with Seth, it looks like. He's not going to Biakia. Uh, Masoma played all Byakuya against Gray. The taste on is where it pulls you out of the corner. He does like the the bounce six six C. Yeah, it's it's up forward, um, jump four B, so that uh, Phonon faces the corner, and then you do jump two B so that you go back to same side and do some some double overhead shenanigans. Yeah. Anything quarter still is the taste on basically. That was a good clear on the 4B. Oh, damn. A, A, yeah. A. Yeah, I think LTP has definitely done this to us a lot before. Yep. Uh, it was like half of his game plan in ST, but. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm Island so surprised. Like, adopted it. I'm so surprised that Masoma got away with that assault. I am so surprised he got away with that. <laughs> That was like the worst assault I think I've seen Masoma ever do. Good combo. Damn, that's like almost half a sub's health right there. He almost got him. VO? Oh, 5A? Not enough though. Okay. There we go. What a challenge. I Silent. love the 5As. I, I mean, that's definitely what I'm doing against that pressure as, as that, you know? Trying to hit him with the witch way. Are you gonna beta CS out of him? Good shield. Got him. Not dead yet. One more. Got him. Oh, let's go. Yo, right. silent. Last round of winners finals. Watch out. Yep. He had the good sense of the timing. Good challenge. Yo, this music has got... Yeah, he did the OS to make sure he confirmed that, too. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I believe that's a hit confirm OS. Uh, phone on just holds up and inputs fireball just in case. TRM, got him. Wait on him. Wait on him, silent. Yep. Yes, sir. Nice. Nice. Do we have the assault coming out? We're just going to wait. Okay. Went low. Masoma, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Masoma? Yep, just gonna wait. CS for nothing. I don't care. We're out of here. Is that game? Is he gonna build enough? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's not gonna build enough, but it's one touch. Got him. <laughs> Silent with the reverse 3 0 into winner's finals. Yo, Silent's Apparently, on a tear. He, I'm gonna, <laughs> how I'm gonna remember this is, oh yeah, Silent had that set. He just needed to get off Gord and start doing the taste on, and it was. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, but he has some really clean confers yeah. all throughout there. That was that was really nice. That's true, Stang. That is a Biakia assault. That's 100% a Biakia assault. Yeah, I guess he just BM'd or he wanted to throw for extra content when he came back, but uh. With this music, that was kinda that was kinda hype too. But uh yeah, Silent Silent did everything he was supposed to 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 hold uh Masoma down. And now he's in grand finals. I have to say, like <laughs> I don't know if you see the chat, uh Fox, but go to the sent yeah, message to I you. see that. I see that. Yep. But, yeah. uh, well, I mean, at least in, in this tournament so far, uh, no one has been memed on with Wake Up 63C. It's me. I'm, I'm the geek dude getting memed on. Um, <laughs> so at least that hasn't happened. Yeah. But yes, Masomo, very, very, he's like me, he's very active uh, on defense and offense, and just, he's always doing stuff. This top eight is really good, Beffin. Uh, Silent just beat Masoma 
So he's in Winterside Grand Finals right now. Uh, please continue, Fox. Oh, I was just saying uh, that um, Masoma and I are both uh, wanting to be doing things all the time. <laughs> yes. Yes, <laughs> so, yeah. definitely. So, uh, I forgot what I was about to say. Oh, yeah. Silent did what he was supposed to. I think, honestly, like, I, it's hard to say most improved because, like, both of these players were already essentially like just below top level players. But I feel like in the quarantine era, Joe and Silent have really taken strides towards the top level of North America. Like, I feel like their decision making and like where they put themselves on the screen, how they deal with scrambles have really only improved. Uchiha, unfortunately, is gone. He died to Papa Pesto, who's playing right now. Uh, but how do you feel about that, Fox of? Uh, Gosu uh, would be I, the other one, but Gosu doesn't play right now. Yeah, I definitely... I was really excited watching Silence run uh, Combo Breaker 2019, and I was like... I was like, I, I want this to go further, and I feel like it absolutely has, you mm -hmm. know? Like, Silent, Silent has really put in a lot of time and effort, and yo, I have no idea. <laughs> no. I just assume he was always that good. Um, but uh, actually, I still have to see Joe set uh, from last night. And honestly, there there's been a lot of uni that I've just missed this week because I've been just really busy. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's probably going to be more more viewing for me in the coming days. Yeah, especially but since I you really, have to prepare I really now. Want, I, yeah, I really want to see because it was a set uh, of Wald Yuzu, right? Yeah, versus uh, Rurik. Yeah, I have to see that. Nice command throw and wake up. We we talked long into this round. He went with the assault setup, delay tech. Oh my no god, he whiffed the throw and then just got three C or three B. Excuse me. One, two. Yeah, you get to play uh, Melty Blood type Lumina Akatsuki, Isaac. But at least you have a uh, rollback now, yeah. Anyway, 6B from Papa Pesto didn't work the way I wanted to initially, so I'm going to do it again. One. Okay, get the wheel. Yeah, you're going to backdash. Oh my god, that was, that was actually kind of genius. That was kind of genius. Okay. Oh, say fresher. Kind of the worst thing about this is like I've tried to play in a way. Oh, I've tried to play in a way where I like grid thrust Mika, but grid thrusting Mika feels really fucking bad. Like you, it doesn't feel like you really can do it that well. Okay. One, two. And you know, I'm just sitting here thinking when you have minus one normal and someone comes off CS. So then you're effectually, uh, you're effectually neutral again. Mm hmm 100% of the time. Yep. At least with a minus two normal, like, you have, even if they're, like, CSing as early as possible, you know, I don't know. Yeah. It's then there's me, where I have a, uh, <laughs> yeah, I have a five frame throwing ball special. Lord 22A. Because, like, in those situations, throw is, like, probably the best answer that most characters can even go for there. Fantastic anti-air. Delay. Uh, pick up on the combo. Went with the re-jump. There we go. One. So this is going to be kind of tricky because he had the ability to CS, but not anymore. Put it behind him. That was kind of that was kind of sick. Okay. Yep. Plus two. So you actually can't press anything. Is he? He's dead. CS it. CS it. Yes, sir. We got the meter optimization. Optimizations. Papa Pesto is kind of. Yeah, Papa Pesto is cooking right now. A A A. Just waiting. Drop kick finally lands. Got the funny ha ha combo. Yeah, I feel the same way, Isaac. Uh, I've talked to him about Akatsuki, but, like, 
this this version is uh on hiatus so i feel like i can talk to him about that what an answer but it didn't really do anything this time poked out with the six frame 2b by the way six frames don't know why she got that but it's six frames <laughs> character with the best frame data in the game almost six frame normal btw uh, and aura dude now back on the board Oh no, yeah, you're gonna get <laughs> hit go. by that. Uh, but no pick up. Uh, I see Spinach pick that up quite a bit. That was almost nice. Yeah. Doku Fei. <laughs> no, you don't get to move there, Aura. That was a bad CS. Don't do that. Don't do that either. Six frame to be not doing anything in that case. Okay. One. Are we gonna see the cross up setup maybe? Try to get the cycle. Stanky leg. No. Or never, never mind, yes. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, he's dead now. Papa Pesto is no, what I would have no. said, but he command. <laughs> he got, <laughs> uh, he so, got him so to so jump anyway. Time, yeah, so every time we've seen that, so Aura didn't respond correctly at any point. I think the first time tried stand tech, did not work. Yep. Um, second time just did not respond. Third time jumped, but jumped back. I think he neutral jumped that one. You have to hold okay. up forward, or I think you have to assault that. If, yeah, yeah, if... you have to. You have to jump forward. Um, and even even if your character is not one with like crazy down reaching buttons like Mondrakia, you can usually still get something nice. Papa Pesto with the run of his tournament life. I I think Papa Pesto. Huh? Oh, he did uh, FF. I, I he was saying. He... I see interesting yeah yeah so i don't know i will just clearly there was some on the fly labbing that was happening <laughs> yeah uh best of luck to you uh papa pesto you get to play spinach's hell matchup now biakia carmine one of the worst matchups in the game previous version still not the greatest sort of uh matchup now yeah you were right isaac i didn't know but Papa Pesto has been clean this entire tournament. He's been doing the damn thing, and he's guaranteed at least third. So he's in the money. He looks really composed, too. A lot of players who I think get up on the stage for the first time, myself included, and Fox, I know you can speak to this. As you get deeper and deeper in a tournament, it doesn't feel like you're playing with house money. This is like, fuck, I'm playing well enough that I can win now, and that just makes you really nervous. But, uh... What do you think about that, Fox? I mean, the best, I will say, the best experiences that I've had being on a stage have just been, wow, I'm just so happy to be here. We're going to have some good games. Like, that is the best mentality I've ever been in. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I can get back there and it feels good. And yeah. the worst mentality is exactly what you just described. When I feel like I'm, if I'm focusing on results or how this game is going to look to the people watching or any of that, if it is anything except I'm about to have the time of my life, I'm not playing well. Yeah. Like, it's it's hard. You will never not be nervous in a tournament setting. It's just your body is going to do it, and no two ways about it. But focusing on having a good time, for me, is, I think, the best thing to do. Yeah. I definitely run into the same thing. Nice dash under. Nice. Uh, it's actually kind of why I don't like playing in exhibitions. <laughs> I, I can't look at an exhibition and be like, yo, I'm happy to be here. It's like, no... <laughs> Someone put me in an exhibition for a reason, so I have to perform. <laughs> nice tech. He would have had him if he went early, but he decided to wait. Nice throw, yeah. Six frame versus six frame. Ooh, I like the wait. Papa Pesto playing really well in the Uni RPS, I think. Okay. Yeah, no Seth Carmine. This is... Probably a much better matchup than uh, Seth Carmine is, isn't it? Oh, hesitation 3C, double double low. And just like that, Masoma is basically going to win this round, I think. Yep. Uh, and... Ah, uh, is this going to kill him? Yeah, this is going to kill him. Carm has a lot of health, but that will definitely kill him. 
I block for XX seconds. I see. Uh, Masoma got under, kind of hit 2B. So I kind of mentioned this before. The first time Biakia hits you at game start, don't panic. He can't get you in a crazy knockdown. He has to take some risks to actually continue. Good concentrate. Okay. I used to get that input error a lot. Yeah. <laughs> when I was playing Carmine. Yep, CS caught him before that came out. Double. Block that double. Yes! Nice! Woo! Very smart from Papa Pesto. Went low, wasn't able to do it. Are we going to go high this time? Yep. Masoma's defense in this case, four, when he yeah, has to be. That's it. Is pretty good there. I don't yeah. know if it's the blaze blue or what, but 4 mm -hmm. four is good. But he caught him with the overhead. Papa Pesto fighting very well. What a confirmed! No! Papa Pesto, <laughs> you are sick. What a god. Wait on him. Yep. Yep. Throw. I want you to throw at this timing. <gasps> no, he got him with the, the switch out. I feel like if he had Can gone he for that immediately, no. it would not have worked. That was the conditioning. Yeah. That was really good. Okay. <gasps> what the fuck? Yeah, there it is. Oh, uh, he's been doing... Actually, this is perfect. This is perfect. Delay tech to get up. Oh, no. That sucks. The delay no, tech have, was good. I have no idea why Masoma just got hit by that assault. <gasps> But I, I feel like him getting hit by a stab assault messed up the setup that was supposed to happen, which was yeah. a very, like, kind of classic EL uh, bomb cross up. Yep, bomb um, reset. And Papa Pesto had even gotten a counter hit 2B off of the Masoma drop. Unfortunately, you know, top players win those scrambles somehow or another, as I'm sure you're aware of. And Masoma up one. Really strong throwing in the first game, though. Yeah, he tried to add her, to block. Yeah, Stanley, uh, Defy, uh, wrote a little, um, recording editor script for me, and I was like, oh yeah, let me try it out. I wonder if I can block this, and the answer is, <gasps> like, no, it's actually really hard. Oh, for the, the adder cost up? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to see. Same with, uh... Good shield. Oh, nice, nice. Same with, um... Chaos, uh, roll, the probably. Roll, the roll cross ups, at least traditionally, not that hard, but even in ST, uh, him jumping over you for that, uh, 2 2 X cross up, it's just so much harder to see. Yeah. Okay. I like that CS at the point where there wasn't too much more of a threat. Unfortunately, with recovery, got him into trouble. Alright, so Masoma has to spin here. He's gonna have CS. So he gets to run at least two mix-ups. Oh, shit! Let's go. <laughs> Side switch. Wow. Pressure reset. We're going to move it. And we're going to sit. I like this. Concentrate. I really love his use of the upward... Yeah, you don't get to jump right there. Let's go! I'm going wow. to sit here, and Masoma, you're going to run at me. And CS, CS, CS? Oh, oh. that would have been the extra cherry on top. No, nah, I don't think that's despair. I think you should never panic when getting hit by Biakia the first time. A lot of a lot of players used to. I don't know if they do anymore though. One concentrate. Not enough. Ah, uh, not quite. He still has a little bit of protection. Well, no, no, he doesn't. That's not a bomb. Okay, good block. Tried to backdash out. Ash uh, two B. Uh, you got a mash on this this guy. Yeah. Okay. One, to two, right now. <laughs> three. Me too. I'm looking at that and I'm pressing buttons. Or at least trying to. Ah, God damn it, I hate that. It's it's so hard. Okay. Good tech. Yep, guard thrust. As long as he gets to get out, yeah, he's fine. Never mind, heavy machine gun. Damn. This is still quite competitive. <gasps> yeah, big. So I talked to you about that, Fox. Of that JB is huge. Yeah. You try to air to air with Carmine? No, you fucking idiot. Like, don't do that. 
Grabmine players, I think, can leverage that a little bit more than just pressing uh, ICJ6 or JC. He's got a nice little believe. sweep there. Nope, you don't I get to match there. Believe. He died. Or he should die, I can't basically. Believe he, he got that cycle off of that throw. That was, that was so clutch. That was really good. All right, guess for your life, Masoma. Nope. Oh, yeah, he, has, he uses the EX there. But that's fine. Back tech, back tech. Oh my god! Pesto, no! Pesto, please back tech. Oh my god, he can't he he can't do anything to you if you back tech there. Oh no. Good block. Oh, nice, nice block. Oh he got bonked. <laughs> he got bonked. Top of Pesto, no. All you had no. to do was back tech and you were fine. That was a 1-1 one, one set. Damn. Air to air, JB. Yeah, Masoma looking real comfortable right now. It's the aura. Yep, delay tech oh. throw. Like I said, never fear cycle one Biakia. Like, it's okay. Even if you get hit, it's fine. Just keep your composure. Nice throw. I want to say about, uh, he fucked it up. about Carmine uh, Assault Jump A, it's, it's so not good. If I recall, it is minus on hit. Yeah. It's it's quite bad. Uh, he got the green... Sh That's like the worst feeling that I ever have playing this game, is I get you to whiff a green shield, so I'm like, I react, my brain is like, fucking neurons firing. And then some asshole presses 5A and I die. Like, yeah. I literally saw you with the green shield. It's going really well. And thank you for the sub uh, about 30 minutes ago, Cookie. I appreciate it. So Papa Pesto still very much in this set. He has a round to give before he is eliminated. Yeah, you know what they, do, what they have to do in Uni 2 is instead of making the green shield resonate out, just make it go the other way. Just start on the outside and go back in That'd that would be, nice. be pretty interesting good tech yeah delay cs the 5a even hit that Ugh, stinky but it's okay we bust out anyway so that's the match you were talking about foxo one okay okay yeah we're gonna call it throw Good block on the overhead. Uh, I yeah, that was a good block. Deep dash. Caught him again. Again, again. Yeah. Back tech, please. Uh, he just ate it. Ooh, he had almost the right answer with the falling JB, but the the range was a little off. This sucks though. I said don't fear uh, cycle one Biakia, but. Round two or round three cycle one Biakia is a threat. Sorry. 3B immediately though. Fuck that. Command throw. Give me some health back. One down. Yeah. The worst thing is, like, if I understand correctly, all of his own uh, reversal options there would not have beaten the, the 2 3 6 Yeah. Okay. Dash up. Yeah. Oh my god! Concentrate, <laughs> concentrate. Like oh! Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Fuck. The one time he didn't run up with a, a mid, and that'll be it. That was a 3 0, but that literally was a 3 0, but it's close. Masoma survived yeah. that set. I really liked uh, Esto's control, the bomb pressure. Like, yeah. Dude, there was. I could really feel there were several instances of like uh okay you're gonna hold this okay you're gonna hold this you're gonna hold this you're gonna hold this okay now i'm gonna miss like mm -hmm. that's the, that's the way to do it yeah i uh i talk about this pretty often from time to time about like there the difference between winning and losing this game is all within the margins there's like little things that don't quite shake your way and those things just kind of add up and I think this set was like pretty, pretty much example A of that. You know, he had plenty of opportunities, but they just quite didn't shake out that way. 
But Papa Pesto, I think, has shown that he is a threat for the rest of the year. You know, if he's able to go out to more events, he's one of those people that you're going to have to circle. Good tournament for him. Fantastic run. Lord Pesto. In any case, we have the Young Tyrant fighting from the loser's bracket versus Silent, who uh, is also in KOF Top 8. He's going to be busy right after this. Wow. Uh, worst thing is, wow. for him is uh, if he has to run the distance in this and then immediately go into KOF, you know? It's gonna gonna be a bit rough. Oh, sorry. I gotta move this. There we go. I had Discord open. Wow. All right. All right, Silent. Okay. Yep. Oh, he tried to press something thinking that it was gonna be a no cancel 2v, I believe. Yep. Oh, that! Oh my God! That fucking really? sucks. <laughs> that sucks. So oh much. my God, that sucks. Uh, I'm seeing. Uh, you got deja vu, played, don't uh, you? Yeah, this is this was like uh, the same of like, okay, cool, it's round Good one. Fuzzy, I'm, you know, let's go in. Okay, I've got some momentum, and then one thing doesn't work out, and. Yep. Silent's still in control. Yeah, we're gonna stagger you up. You're trying to shield to cycle synth, but I don't care about that. Masoma didn't back throw though. Okay. Low? Ooh. Yeah, your grid broken, the fuzzy the funnies come out. Yep. Alright. Are you gonna stay alive here, Silent? He's going with real short strings. Good block. Yo, actually, high oh. key, Silent gets these weird moments where it feels impossible to open him up. Like his composure gets crazy good. And I think that that's one of those situations. Yep, good no, punish too. Yo, Silent, go. Silent is playing like he wants to win this fucking tournament right now. Yeah. Yep, good control over the cycle. I can't believe Masoma gambled on the high shield there. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that J2B was definitely still plus. Ah, delay 3B. Or 3C, 2B, excuse me. Alright. So this is the start for him. A lot of grid blocks to work with. But fuck it. You know, you went yeah. too far. Raw jump. Wow. I think Silent was probably thinking that an EX was coming. So he yeah. was delaying an EX, but the jump just fried his brain for a half second. That's the big black right there. I'm gonna run up to you and then just fucking hold up, hold seven. Yep. The block. Yep, good shield. There's the poke out that Silent was looking for, but it's okay. He still has more than enough. Tasting blocked, overhead blocked, overhead blocked. Silent, this is like chip territory almost. Oh no, cycle turn, but it, that's it, that's it. That should be it. There's nothing he can do and game yep. one to Silent. What composure. <laughs> oh my goodness we are in for a hell of a set and silent might be ruining my prediction here if he wins this first set that's the tournament okay good very very good late shielding against the late portions of 2b and 2c key points to shield if you want to defend yourself against Biakia. trm Ghost of says, Dave, he keeps doing it. Okay, waiting on him. I really like Silent's wait on Masoma's interactions and then dash 2v. He doesn't have too many horizontal moves to bust out with if he's not jumping. So you can kind of control him from that 2v space if you jump in time. Good block forcing the CS out of him. Silent has plenty of time in the falling jump. <laughs> See? Oh my god, Silent has him on a string right now. One, two, three, ascent. Oh no, he's going to just get that knockdown. Uni player killer, aka 
the red blade. Yeah, that gasp was there. Silent. Really? I think this is the first time I've seen kind of Masoma unsure about what to do. There it is, though. Up back shield. Yeah, time to mash Masoma. Gosu has it. That's the Dave timing to mash, too. He's like, fuck it. I'm not going to... I'm not going to die without doing something. I'm going to get me something coming out of this, this store. The blocks... Oh god, nice. we're punished. We're punished. Here. So how he deals yeah, with this mix. Do any any teleport fuzzies? Funnies? Yep. Funnies that are fuzzies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Round to Basoma there. <laughs> I don't really have anything to say about that one. Good throw. Yeah, Masoma's getting tossed kind of more than I expect him to. I think Silent Silent waiting on him has thrown off his OS timing a lot. You saw him try to 5B as if he was going to assault at him. So, like, I think Byakuya, or Byakuya, I think Masoma is absolutely behind the RPS uh, with Silent here. Unfortunately, or fortunately for Masoma, the dash block actually got Silent to put himself in the corner for him. Okay. This is still an uphill battle for Byakuya. Oh! Oh, shit! Word? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was pretty cheap. Falling JB. Silent doing really well surviving this. Yep, with someone waiting on him. Oh, 4B that's gets caught, and that's yeah. the game. No. It was, a, it was an action after whipping green shield. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. Damn. Hey, we haven't we haven't seen the whip purple shield in the button, so I mean. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really bad FFCS. I agree. I don't know why he decided to do that, but I don't know. Nice. Oh, now Masoma's wow, yeah. getting comfortable again. How quick a unisec can turn, right? Green shield. Yeah. So he waited on him. Damn. That's a route I haven't seen, I don't think. Yep, good shielding. So he's out of there. Fantastic up back. I'm silent. The clear lamp versus Dave. <laughs> he didn't toss the shield deep. Good dash throw. I'm just gonna wait. Got him. Okay. So silent is more than just back in it here. You're out here from a distance. What are you going to do, Byakuya? 6FF? He was shielding, so he's able to leave. Okay. Silent, yeah, had to make something happen. <gasps> That's going to be the round right there. Doesn't matter that you have CS. This is a good-ass set. Yeah. I feel bad. I'm, like, talking over you here. I should give you some space to say stuff. Oh, no, man. No, you're good. Cod is up back with the 5A. Yeah, yeah. I actually feel like uh, some other characters can call out um, an up back shield OS maybe a little bit easier than Sonon can. Like, I don't even I don't even know if her 6-6-B would quite catch it. I'm not sure. Yeah. But if nothing else, 5A, 5A would do the trick. I love seeing Silent literally just, like, escape. He's just like, I'm out of here. Like, fuck it. <laughs> up back shield. <gasps> Got him. 6-6-B six, oh, six there. Okay, that was the interaction okay, you just mind, talked about. It does catch that yeah, too. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Last hit. Oh, he wanted, he wanted to safe jump that. I'm sure he wanted to safe jump that. Good tech. But we're pressing anyway. Okay. Got him. He got him. Nice. Okay. So your VL timer allows you to get out a little bit, but it almost doesn't matter. I still have protection and your VL time is gone. All right, you have us. Actually, yeah, it's, it's over. Right now. Yeah. yeah, he didn't have enough time. Silent, one Silent game time. away from one winner game? side. Slaying the tyrant. Air to air, no, get out Do of it, my Silent. airspace. Do it, Do it Silent. Yo, Silence pop off. If he wins, this is going to be crazy. Yeah, it's going to be legendary. 
Nice throw. Yeah, Masoma back on the back foot again. Yep. Good shield. He's going to escape. What a again, game. I'm not going down without swinging. I'm taking something with me. Fuck your plus frames. I'm going to press 5A. Right, One, two. block yep 2b that time even shielded that so oh silent oh, no. thought he cleared the web but he didn't <laughs> this sucks he's gonna lose that cycle and after a good defensive sequence he is still going to be in this corner masoma doesn't have access to a lot of meter though yep good block yep so now he can just wait nice yep. block uh no he's still not gonna die here i don't think no he absolutely is never mind excuse me all that because he didn't clear one web. That sucks. <gasps> Good shielding. Oh, counter hit 2C. Yeah, after all of those 2B no cancels. He finally got him. Yeah. Good delay tech. Nice. And he waited on him. Silent playing at a really high level right now. Another throw. Yep. Good shield, but nope, nice. not able to punish there. Okay. Oh, that stinks. Oh no. Okay. All right. Silent, this is, I think, guess for game here. Good block. Still has back throw on the table. Good shield. Delay CS. Oh, he finally ah. got the 1 AD. Heart of a champion. Masoma fighting back. Again, those little, little moments. Now I, we're at I a 2 2 set. Silent can still do it. I think so too. I, I think he's just, he's playing really well tonight. He's locked in. Good shields. Good throw. It was so fortunate that he didn't cross up there. Because Masoma was trying to dash block to get him back in the corner. I thought he was going to pick that up. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Your it CS... kind of looked like he might have been able to. <gasps> he almost would punished that too. Oh, heavy machine gun time. Uh-oh. Masoma not going to do that. Oh, good block. Okay. Oh, the green shield, unfortunately. Going to let Masoma extend his turn with CS. Man, this sucks for him. But it's okay. One, two. Not a whole lot of damage on that one. Oh, wow. Good block. Oh, I couldn't. Okay, he's not thrown into the web no oh shit come on silent actually silent i don't think yeah he doesn't have enough time that throw might have done it for him but this is it yeah actually actually masoma coming off meter there is like Bad. the best possible outcome yeah for silent yeah at that point okay <gasps> He called him. Oh my god, that would have been Almost. so sick. That web was terrifying. That counter hit confirm was really good too. TRM, but not in time. Yeah, just barely missed it. We're gonna wait. Yeah, EX. Yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of luxury that Phonon and Lene do have in this scenario. Ooh. Yep, take that throw. That's fine. That CS was dangerous though. Oh, but that's okay. So this is going to be the round. He might not need any meter here. One, two, perfect, perfect scenario for silent. And we are on reset yeah. or tournament set or point. <gasps> no, he Oh my God. Oh my fucking God, Masoma. And the throw into the web. This sucks. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Heart of the Champion reset. Blocked. TS. Don't jump. Oh fuck. No. The no 5C extended no hurt box. But he did it slightly higher. This is guess for game now. Reset. And he got him. Oh my god. Reset. Man. God I can't believe damn it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it worked. And now, oh no. He ran into 5C. Masoma's getting really comfortable. No. You need to find your comfort zone again. There we go. Nice nice 4B. Again, that's first cycle round three, Biakia. That's the exception to the rule. Jimmy, thank you for the raid. Okay. Got him. Okay. He finally got him with the assault there. This should kill. He's going to get the extension. Make sure that you get the CS ascend. Oh, no. He's going to get all of the meter possible. Oh, my God. Yo, what's up, Lord Hiari? This is quite a set. Yeah. Yo, fuzzy forward shield. Okay, good shielding. Oh, he tried to press there. Unfortunately, the 4B gets shielded. Okay. Oh, so these delay cancels now after 2B, 2C has gotten Silent into trouble a little bit here. Yeah, bad, bad setup. Dash out. Oh, oh no. it crossed him up. He wanted yeah. to micro dash out. Yep, let the web do the work a little bit for you. He finally gave him the shield on the 5A, 5A. Yeah, we're out of here. Is what I would have said. <laughs> oh, okay. So this round is going to Masoma. And we're going to have a 100 meter... 136 meter round three, Biakia. This is the danger zone. What's the interaction? Just dash up, yeah. Both players taking it conservatively this time. Almost with punish that. Got him. There we go. Nice. Caught the anti air or the. Uh, I was very jump wrong. Shoot. I was very wrong. Six six B is awesome for that. Let's go. Yep. Okay. This is very good start for Silent. <gasps> no, he almost had him. Oh, back throw. Accelerated Biakia time. Yeah, taking the throw, but this is kind of dangerous. Back throw. Meaty. Okay. He survived most of it. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Guess for round scenario. Nice! He caught him again. Delay assault. Okay. Reset of some sort. Throw tech. Oh my god, I can't believe he dodged that. And counter hit 2B, the delay button. Masoma just narrowly getting the, the upper hand in these. Uh, delay mash. This might be the set of the year, I think, so far. This is a, a really, really good undernight set. It really is, yeah. Though it pains me, it pains me to uh, get bracket reset by Misova and then see it happen to someone else. It's, it's yeah. like, no, it's happening again. Oh, what? That even caught the startup of, I think, 2C there. Send? Yeah. Geronimo! Okay, green shields. Okay. Yeah, he was waiting. Air to Air J, the TG. I see him in the chat. That's definitely a TG special. What an answer from Masoma. Yeah, we're using movement this time. Oh, but he uh, tried to dash, but got. I think he. Tr no, not dash for the assault. Damn. CS? Yeah, VLCS. Get a little bit of meter back. About 60. Man. Fuck, man. A sum up one. Oh. Oh, my goodness. 
Yes. Tra that is tragic. Absolutely tragic. Okay. Yeah, that was an interaction that I was just waiting to be able to respond to when I, I played my grand final set, and it never showed up, and I was so disappointed. I was like, when you've labbed something, and you're like, just do it. Just do it, and they don't give it to you. Sucks. Very good delay CS through the 6FF. We're pressing 5A on your frame traps now. Getting really comfortable. Assault, but not counter hit. Silent still understands he's going to get the hard knockdown. 31, 34, excuse me. TRM, nice. I like that Silent doesn't feel like he's panicking here. He's keeping his offense consistent even uh, when the, sh the breaks are not shaking his way. Yep, caught him that time. Yeah, plus frames. Still running his mix ups as best as he can. He has plenty of time, but Geronimo plus frames. Good delay tech! That was some of the last possible frames, I think, on that one. Ascend, and he's back in the mix. All right. So we got round three, Ryakia. That tech saved his life. Absolutely. Yeah, Ryakia getting in? Okay, like, yeah, sure, that's one thing. But Ryakia getting in and having that combo throw threat along with it is, like, Mentally, it's it's a lot to hold, at least for me. <laughs> yeah, we had the delay 5C after the delay lows. Okay. Yeah, clearing those. You're jumping that, but that's fine. Silent maybe doesn't love that he has to spin some meter. Caught him again. All right. Nice extension. Yep. Trying to get the damage differential up there. Side switch. Silent really mixing everything. Immediate 5A. Oh no. That's the Biaki assault that he tried on Seth in Winners Finals. This is a tumultuous situation for Silent here. Difference between 2 0. Oh, he just got hit uh, by the web. Damn. Was it maybe a 5C that they tried? I don't know. But. I'm not entirely yeah, sure. That's really unfortunate. He just got hit. It, was, it wasn't It was a counter hit. He just got hit standing in the transition, I think. Silent went back to character select, but it looks like he's he's not out of gas, I don't think. But that 2-0 deficit is difficult, especially with a character yep. that you can't make too many mistakes against. Uh, walk up 5A. It's hard, it's hard to tell what Masoma is thinking because he's always so like uh, apparently stoic you know like it's so hard to get a read on it's hard to get a read on him in game and it's hard to get a read on him IRL yeah I agree with that oh Masoma's gotten really comfortable in the timing now and then that start was awful for Silent unfortunately okay one two three green shield Oh, he thought the web was still there. Okay, so we got the bust out. Side switch is what I would have said. Oh, it's still side switch, but not quite completed. TRM. All right. Guaranteed cycle. 5A. Uh, he wanted to go low on the other side. Masoma smashing I, I, 5A. I have to wonder if part of that was, I don't want to deal with you wake up dice rolling me, so I'm just going to do the funny thing. I think so, yeah. too. Oh, the trade on 5B. The not anti-air, anti-air. No head and ball on that. Back throw. Masoma in his bag right now. Back throw. Guess for game. That was the setup. Nice tech. No, fuck you. Air to air. JA <laughs> versus J2C. Reset. Tried to go for it. Yep, stagger. On, he man. knew that the throw wasn't going to happen there. Late. Okay, good throw. Throwing off his timing as much as possible. Silent fighting for his life. Nope. Overhead. Blocked on the other side. But got clipped uh, by the assault. And that's going to be the tournament. Never mind. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> Masoma. Oh, with the 3-2, 3-0 reset. Taking both Melty Blood and Undernight. Absolutely insane. What a tournament. Damn, man. 
I was really, I was really rooting for Silent. Silent Me was too. Like, so strong in that first set. Masoma is, uh, it really seems like Masoma can just keep his uh, composure for a long time, you know? Yeah. Hard, he is hard to wear down. He's young. He's like 20, 19, 20. <laughs> you know, he's not worried about it. He's ready to go. Man. I, I don't really know. I don't really. I can't give Silent any advice. The The difference was just a couple shakes. Like, I, I said that before. Same thing with Papa Pesto. But, like, Silent just missed on a couple timings. And that was that was it. Man. Yeah. Oh, really? That is not high that high of a level compared to previous tournaments I've watched. So true. <laughs> you know, I'm still struggling to get out of pools at my local. Level. <laughs> Man, <laughs> what a tournament. We've had a lot of really good fucking undernight. Again, uh, if you want to watch some of the other events, Sajam streamed the tournament that Flock Sub won uh, to qualify for a free trip to Combo Breaker. We'll be seeing him at the end of the year or the end of, the, of next month, excuse me. Uh, we just saw Masomo win Texas Showdown here on Tampa Never Sleeps. Uh, Zate FGC had Yuno's win in Heaven or Hell 2022. 20, uh, that was in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And then uh, Psychotic Wald, which was played on Van Street Battle and also simul streamed on Justin Wong's channel, uh, defeated Rick uh, from Winners with Wildstein. So we, we've had a crazy amount of Undernight, you know? Damn, thank you, Fox. This, this was oh, yeah. fun. For yeah. sure. Yeah, this thanks is for having me along. And, absolutely and for the record, blessed. You, uh, you, you do not talk too much. You talk exactly the right amount for the amount that I have to contribute. That's fair. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I uh, appreciate the insights. Yeah. I mean, you were pointing out things that I didn't quite know, you know, myself as well. Obviously so. You're one of the best players in the country, one of the best players in the world, I think. And so I think the the combination of insight for us has been nice. You know, um, TG kind of mentioned this at the start of the broadcast that for all that the uni players know, there's not a whole lot of this that happens. You know, people restreaming, because we're all in the chat. We're always watching. But, you know, restreams and stuff, I think that would be pretty sick to see the perspective of, you know, for people who aren't able to make the events too. Uh, yeah, I'd like to true. see more of this in the future. I'd, it just kind of came to me one day. I was like, you know, Fox, let's let's talk over top eight. Um, Gosu and I have done some events, and we did like the round table. I think when we watched some EL foot or some ST footage, uh, I would like to do more of that. We have our top eight showers here: Masoma, Silent, Papa Pesto, Aura Dude, Salty Goku, Gray Faden, Dat Boy Uchiha. And finally, half a row. So fantastic top eight. Really cool to see Uchiha there in a, a top eight again. Mm -hmm. it was, He's got I two so now, proud. Frosty Fausting as well. Yeah, I was so proud of him. Uh, uh, in, in Melty that time. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, good for him. I want to see Gray Faden at more events too. His Nanase is really sick. I think he's sure. uh, almost certainly the second or third best Nanase at this point. Uh, in this area um, Obviously 2 gig holds the number one spot Maybe you could argue Ice Kin if he's active But outside of that Grey Faden has had fantastic showings Salty is more than up and coming I think he's established at this point A lot of good showings for him Or a dude I think this is his first top 8 at a major uh, I hope to see more of him in the future I want to see more Papa Pesto This dude is yeah. godlike Silent we don't have to speak anymore We just gushed about him He'll be a force in top eights, I think, for the rest of the year. And Absolutely. the young tyrant, Lord Masoma himself, young king. This guy. This guy. This guy can't be stopped. Three for three. Yeah. So we gotta we gotta get him at CB. Everybody in the chat that's going. I don't wanna see this again. We gotta get him out of here. Three is enough. If it's red or oh, he, he he held it up this time. He held yeah, it up. Yeah, he he didn't hold up the <laughs> FF one. Oh, he gets a backpack too. He gets a new bag. You get the Astro, the fancy bag. Oh, TG didn't get a medal. Actually, the last two Texas showdowns are Biakio wins now. 
that's kind of crazy tg uh with a massive run at um 2019 and masoma bringing it home biakia in texas i don't know what to say yeah that's messed up yeah tg got the budget prize you know they waited <laughs> they waited three years and they're like okay we got a little bit extra money we can toss at some people but uh in any case that, oh go ahead go ahead. i was just saying the best thing that tg got was that godlike photo shoot oh the photo shoot was godlike yeah Yeah, yeah, the that. those bags last a long time. I know you guys have seen me carrying my shit around. My entire setup with the portable monitor fits in there, you know. Sorry, go ahead, Foxo. You were saying one more thing. No, I that that was all just the uh, just the um, TG got got like an amazing photo shoot, and I I kind of wonder uh, like what what stuff we're gonna get from this tournament too, like. Those tournament photos are always really nice. Mm -hmm. back on. Absolutely. I saw that there's there's like the wall of previous champions. TG uh, has that one. You know, his name was on it for the last uh, the Eunice Texas showdown. So in any case, uh, that is more or less going to wrap us up here. Uh, I got a shill for the one time. You know me. Uh, I'm not sponsored anymore. So any or we're not sponsored anymore. So if you yeah. you want to give some help to us, you know, subbing or I, I'm pretty sure I have a, a fucking Kofi out there or something. Uh, consider following me or dropping a sub. Definitely follow the YouTube. I'm going to throw this up. This is going to go up there. Um, consider getting me to 1K subs on YouTube. Uh, consider subbing to me if you have a Twitch Prime. Aside from that, you know I'm for the community. Oh, I'm going to announce one more thing. Uh, I'm going to try my best. My birthday is the last day of Combo Breaker, May 29th, 2022. I want to try to do some sort of Kumite. So I don't know who I have to talk to, if I'm just going to record it on my own stuff, or maybe talk to Imp or Bryce, get it streamed, something like that. I want to play a lot of people. I definitely yeah. want to play a lot of people. So if you're coming through and you want to get a first to two or whatever, gets decided uh please come through absolutely or if you want to give me a drink or buy me some food at combo breaker for my birthday i will graciously welcome that as 